Now, when we come to the second part of the calculation, which is the uh, calculation on the oxygen, let's just a quick let's just do a quick recap. As I wrote down here, we find out the molar mass of the compound based on the nitrogen, based on carbon, and based on hydrogen. They all look different, but we understand the fact that they should be the same. So we're going to, we're going to fix this at the end after we find out the. molar mass of the compound based on the calculation on the oxygen. Now, on the right hand side you should also see the mass of uh, nitrogen, carbon, and hydrogen. Now, the reason why I'm writing this down is because, well, first you you found that you found those these numbers out based on your previous calculations. And when we do the calculation on oxygen, these may help us. Um, so we are going to do this 16 grams per mole over the percentage of oxygen in the compound okay now again this is not given so we are going to find out by doing this now we want to put the mass of oxygen coming from the compound right here but remember that we have to handle the oxygen very carefully because in the reaction we have some other oxygen in the air that is being combined with the compound to form some of the products so in order to safely finding the mass of oxygen from the compound and it is just from the compound we are going to do this so let me write let me write here mass of oxygen from the compound now if you read the question very carefully it says that the compound contains only carbon hydrogen nitrogen and oxygen so if we can find out the mass of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen, we can simply subtract those numbers from the total mass and we can get the answer. Now, based on our previous calculations, these numbers are here. So what we can do is simply having the total mass of the compound minus the total of those three masses. So 0 0.110 grams plus point one eight six grams minus point zero one nine three grams so that is equal to and let me use my calculator point three seven six minus the total of point one one plus point one eight six plus 0 0.0193 so you should get this number 0 0.0607 okay uh, I missed this one here so let me that part should be 0 0.436 oh no it should be um, point three one five three okay so we now have the mass of oxygen and we can put it right into here point zero six oh seven grams and if you put this in the calculator you will find out the percentage is equal to point one six one four or 16.14 grams of uh, six no 16 point 14 percent so we put this number back to here and you would get 99.11 grams per mole okay now we can put this number to here Now we see 
we now see four different numbers and we said that they these numbers must equal each other in order to get to the same number they must multiply by some other numbers to get the same number and we try to match all these numbers to the biggest number okay so if you put a calculator you will find out that this number has to multiply by two to get to the same number right here and this number would have to multiply by four and this one would have to multiply by five what that means is that we have four carbon five hydrogen two nitrogen and one oxygen and this will be the empirical formula for caffeine.